Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know this may be a little shocking for you, but I just wanted to make sure I jump in here, start talking to you more about the things that I do that you don't see. So here you go. Sundays, or at least once a week, maybe not always on Sundays, sometimes on Monday, but I love this gold face mask. It is absolutely my favorite. If you're interested in uh, the actual brand, let me know. But if you can see, it like makes my skin really tight. It feels really good. So that's why I didn't take it off because I actually enjoy it. So the last two weeks, I've been working out with my daughter's roommate, who is a uh, graduate in sports medicine, sports uh and uh, like physical therapy and so she's been training me um, and it's been going really well so I have found that in the last two weeks like I have more stamina I've been able to um, stretch and, and really like move my body in, in more ways and one of the things that she wanted me to do is to start doing yoga so on the days that we don't work out I'm supposed to do yoga so I thought I'd take you all on this journey with me and today, let's see, today I am actually um, working with someone on YouTube. I like to do her workouts. Um, actually, this is my first time, but this is a 10 minute workout with this lady. So hold on while I get this started. Okay, long, nice rest. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like to you. Lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders down and away from your ears, and start with your chin parallel to the floor. We'll do a little neck release. It's going to do a All right, so this is yoga with Cassandra. We're short on time, but want to get and we're doing a 10 minute body and stretch. Pains and kinks in your body from a long night's rest. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like to you. Lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders down and away from your ears, and start with your chin parallel to the floor. We'll do a little neck release here. So you can drop your left ear towards your left shoulder, stretching through the right side of your neck. And I like to bring the left hand to the top of the head just to pull the ear further away from that shoulder. Keep pressing it down. And if you'd like to go even further, you can crawl your right fingertips out to the side. We'll just take three to five breaths here. Softening your jaw. Letting the head be heavy. And connecting to your breath. One more deep breath. And release, lift the head back to center. Let's switch sides. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. You can use your right hand to pull the ear further away from the shoulder. Crawl the left fingertips out. Sitting up tall through your spine. Let's start to ask yourself what kind of day you want to have. Okay. What so what kind of day do you want to have? I know what I'm looking forward to. Relaxing, getting my Four week started. Big deep breath. And cradle the head. Lift it all the way back up. And let's come into a tabletop position. Let's start with our toes on hands and knees. Spread your fingertips wide, middle and index fingers pointing to the top of the mat. Knees underneath your hips, a few rounds of cat and cow. As you inhale, drop your belly. Curl, tailbone up, lift the gaze. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Three more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale, spread the shoulder blades away. Push into the fingers. Last one. And coming back into your neutral tabletop pose, extend your right leg out to the side so your ankle, your knee, and your hip are all in one line. You're going to reach your left arm all the way up to the sky, twist, and then exhale, thread your left arm underneath you, bring your shoulder and your ear to the floor. So if it's within grabbing distance, you can catch a hold of your big right toe with your two piece fingers. The right hand can push into the floor or you can bring your right hand to rest on your low back. So this is thread the needle, but with a gate pose variation. Try to relax 
to your neck. One of my favorite things to do first thing in the morning. And bring your right hand back down to the floor if it was behind your low back. Release the hold of the toes. Push into that right hand. Come all the way back up. And before we go and do this on the other side, you're going to lift your right leg and you're going to cross your right foot all the way over as far to the left as you can. Start to look over your left shoulder and push into your right hip. So just taking a lateral stretch, a side body stretch. Coming back to center, step your right foot forward to the outer edge of your right hand to the top of the mat. So both palms are to the inside of that leg. You can pad your left knee here if you'd like, if this is feeling a little sensitive. You can put some blocks underneath your palms as well. Just think of lifting the heart up, dropping the hips down. Getting into the hips, a great way to start off the day. This has been really and great. And working out lift your back with Morgan the mat. Keep has your been awesome because it's given me more right flexibility. Inhale into your easy twist. Looking up only if that's comfortable. And right hand down to the floor. Find your first downward facing dog. And first thing in the morning, it might feel better to have your feet quite wide in your down dog as opposed to having them hip width distance apart. And just paddle the feet, bending one leg and straightening the other. Drum the low belly into the low back, shaking out the head. Just getting rid of the kinks here that we have. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. And let's bring the knees back down to the ground, tabletop pose onto your hands and knees. Let's find our thread the needle gate pose on the other side. So extend your left leg out to the side. You want to align your hip, your knee, and your ankle in that one line. Ground all four corners of your left foot to the floor. Open to a twist, right arm up, and thread it under. Right shoulder to the floor, right ear to the ground. And you can come up onto your left fingertips. If it's accessible, your right fingertips can loop onto your left big toe. And you can bring your left hand to your low back. So a nice spinal rotation. One more big belly breath, opening through the chest. Left hand can come back down to the floor, release the toe, lift yourself back up. And before we go into that lunging pose, or lizard pose, you can lift that left foot and cross it, bring it all the way over to the right. Look over your right shoulder towards that left foot and push into your left hip. So a nice side body stretch. This feels really amazing. Coming back to center, step your left foot forward to the top of the mat, to the outer edge of that left hand. So you want your knee to be aligned over the top of the ankle, lifting the head up, pressing the hips forward and down. Get that nice deep stretch through the right hip flexors. Maybe and right good morning. I know, surprising, we'll but wait till you see when it's all under. done. Lift the back knee off the mat. Ground your right hand and right palm to the floor. Reach your left arm up. Push into that big left toe so that you're not rolling to the outer edge of your left foot. Inhale. That's a stretch. Downward me. facing dog. Left hand down. Ooh. Step the left foot back. And again, just paddle the feet here, bending one knee, straightening the other leg, shaking out the head. And let's walk our hands to the back of the mat for a ragdoll fold. So knees bent generously, and you can let your belly rest over your thighs, holding onto the elbows and just swaying a little side to side. So I generally find that first thing in the morning, my hamstrings are super tight. So don't try to lock your knees, keep them generously bent. Fingertips down to the floor. Bring your heels in, toes out, bend your knees, drop your hips, yogi squat, malasana. Hands at the heart, use the elbows to push the knees open a little wider.
Place your palms to the mat. You're going to walk it forward into a plank pose. Strong through your core. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale. Exhale, lower to your belly. From here, slide your forearms out in front of you. Take a little sphinx pose, pointing the toes back. So stretching into the spine. This is also a really great way to start your day. Push the head of the arm bones back. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Lift up a little higher. Big breath into the heart. Exhale to release. Let's press to a wide-legged child's pose. Big toes together. Knees as far as you would like them to be. As wide as you would like them to be. Walk your hands forward and fold down. Five deep breaths in this child's pose. chest, bring your knees back together, and just take a comfortable seat, either kneeling or seated, and close your eyes. Notice how you feel now, as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat this morning. And it's amazing how just a little bit of yoga can do such a big difference. I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to be me in front of the camera uh, and also just being open. Um, I hope that this inspires people to get on camera regardless of what you look like, regardless of how perfect or imperfect you may think that you are because you have to start somewhere. And my goal is to encourage people to get started and just to do something and be willing to share it be willing to share it so i hope that you have an amazing sunday i will be back very soon and uh, i look forward to talking to you bye 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 for now <laughs>